All right. So that's what's happening at Cal with an ATW. Good amount. Um, so next up, I would like to invite the Conroy up from STEM Hero. Some of you might have heard of them before, but if not, that's how we do member spotlights. So I need the member and so happy you're here. Thank you guys. So um, I'm participating in Catalyst and I've already done my homework and I know what they're going to tell me. They're going to tell me to tell stories. So when Tia gave me this opportunity, I thought, uh oh, I better tell a story. So here's a brief story. Um, picture your local high school. And I bet that if you drove by there last Sunday or anytime after school, you would have seen cars there. And ultimately what those teachers are doing is they're trying to come up with ways to prove to their students that what they're learning in class matters, that it's somehow connected to their daily lives and it's gonna have a positive effect on them and their families. And this is because we have a gap. We have a STEM gap. We need more young people to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and math, and see it as something that is gonna be beneficial to them and to their communities. Based on my own experience as a teacher, and indeed the research, and indeed the input we've gotten from hundreds of teachers around the country, it's my contention and my effort to prove to you that one of the most accessible, impactful, and underutilized means we have to show students that science, technology, and engineering, and math are connected and relevant to them are those lowly water meters with their moving parts and their customer portals full of data that are literally connected to their lives at home. Those are powerful tools that we should be using to engage students. Um, Tia, I'm sorry, but I have to admit that at Peer to Peer in Sacramento, I actually skipped out on a half of a day and I went out and I grabbed one of those shared bicycles and in my collared shirt and jeans, I navigated the streets of Sacramento about a half a mile down the road to West Campus High School. I got off the bike, put down the kickstand and right there in the door of the school was Miss Bastion. And she was urgently waving me into the school. We just bypassed security and she put me right in front of the 30 odd students in her AP environmental science class. Before I even put down my bag, she pulled up all of the students' water data charts. And she said, hey everybody, this is Mr. Conroy. He came down from Oregon. He's here to talk about Meter Hero. Let's discuss with him what you're doing with your water data inquiry projects. And for the next 40 minutes, I had students in detail telling me about how they had for the first time ever found their meters, how they had signed their families up for their AMI portal, and how they had implemented water efficiency best practices and measured the results and convinced their families to make those changes permanent. But they also had demands. They said, we want you to go back and we want you to make it even easier for us to engage with this data. Some of them, kind of surprisingly, they said, we want you to implement one of those, you know, like that Microsoft Word where there was that 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 uh, paper clip that would like show us how to, it was like kind of surprised that they knew that. They said, we want one of those to kind of tour this, let us know how to use it right from the get-go. Um, and they were, they thought it was hilarious that their teacher actually received an excessive water use alert on her phone and in class called her husband and said, hey, Mike, you left the hose on again. <laughs> So I, I wanna just give a, a quick recognition to all the Cowlet members who've helped us over the years to develop this and refine it, especially Marin Municipal, City of Sacramento, Rancho California, Walnut Valley. Um, you've been instrumental and because of your input, I just wanna say what we're doing next. We're gonna roll out bilingual curriculum. We have Spanish, we're gonna do it in Mandarin. Um, we're gonna further double down on the connection of what we're doing with career pathways. It's our belief that if you're looking for role models in the community who are STEM heroes, you should look to the utilities. We're also gonna further integrate with water tracking devices so that students who are perhaps navigating housing and security can track the water use at their school, look at the irrigation system and act upon that data to make their school building as well as wherever they live more efficient. Um, and so we're just, we're really excited for what's next. If you're somebody who in your community, you are not already engaging the highly educated, 
highly motivated, smart, career-minded students that are sitting in your AP environmental science classrooms, I would love to work with you and make you their STEM hero. Right, thanks.